Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Gaiden, and this is Super Darius on the PC Engine CD-ROM. Why it's Super, I have no idea, but this is the Super version of Darius. We have some incredibly slowly scrolling text here. I've not slowed this down, this is the actual speed. Uh, can you say D? Can you say A? Can you say R? I, U, S, Darius, yay! Um, I've gone through the menus in this game multiple times, and I can't change Proko to Tiat anywhere in it. What Dolby Surround on the soundtrack? Lovely. Um, and I wouldn't. I don't know if there's if you can or if there's any gameplay differences between Proko and Tiat, like the Mega Drive version. But anyway, this is that game again. And at the moment, it's uh, between 20 and 30 quid on the CD-ROM. And it plays a decent game with Darius. We've got a CD soundtrack, which doesn't actually sound that much better than the Mega Drive chip-based tunes. But we've got some colourful graphics. Um, it's Darius as you know it from the Mega Drive, and yeah, it's pretty damn okay. <laughs> it's not brilliant, it's just okay. Uh, there doesn't seem to be as many balls in the environment as the Mega Drive version. I don't know which one's the most accurate to the arcade, because I've never played the arcade machine of this game. Some of these sprites do look a bit different to the Mega Drive one, so I mean, someone must have done a three-way comparison, right, on, on YouTube. Uh, go and watch that video instead. Uh, don't watch this one. Uh, this one is uh, just the PC Engine CD one. Uh, music for this game's always been a bit weird. It's uh, Darius games usually have great soundtracks, but this one is a little um, crappy. It's nowhere near... Uh, Darius Gaiden, that's for sure, but then, I mean, it came out many, many years before it. Uh, so we've still got a power-up system in here, which is uh, weak. Uh, I mean, it's difficult to get your spaceship firing anything like a laser gun for about 20 minutes. You have to power up about 50 times to get a laser gun, it's just ridiculous. Um, and actually the first laser you get is so piss poor, it's like going back to your, your original shots. Yeah, you didn't do very well with the power-ups in this game. Apart from the shield, the shield's always been epic. It looks cool, but it doesn't, doesn't save you from death that much, because an enemy could just kind of fly into you and wipe the shield out in one go. It's uh, irritating. The one thing about the PC Engine version against the Mega Drive is it's a bit f more flickery. There's a lot more sprite flicker in this PC Engine version. Uh, the Mega Drive one also does a better job of the route change at the end of the level. Uh, but other than that, they are bloody similar. Although, again, the Mega Drive conversion has a bit of an edge where it's got like multiple game modes and different boss modes. But if you've only got a PC Engine or, a P or an analog duo, as I'm playing this on here, um, this is a good version of Darius, I guess, if this is what Darius is like in the arcade. Here you can see the flicker kicking in the full effects as the fish disintegrates in front of your eyes. At least your ship doesn't disappear, which would be worse, not knowing where you are. The bosses aren't any tougher on here than they are on the Mega Drive, I mean, you still kill them pretty damn s swiftly. His, his face hurts and his fins hurt on that fish. His main body is unaffected. Right, here's the root spitting thing. It starts to flicker and then it just fires you up the screen. It's launching you into the stratosphere. I don't know what happened there. That's, that's weird. It's probably because the PC Engine doesn't really have a parallax layer in it and they're doing something weird with sprites there. I don't know. That'd be my guess. Technical me has made a guess there. Yes, it's because the PC engine uh, cannot do multiple playfields, therefore anything uh, travelling in front of the background will be a sprite. A 16 by 16 uh, pixel sprite, or less, 
and uh, it can shift up to 64 of those around the screen on any frame. Uh, they can include up to 16 colours, which have a palette of 512 colours. And I'm going to shut up now. Right, let's get some weapon power ups. See, I still like I filled my red bar and I still haven't got a laser. I've just got like I'm firing fruit pips at people. Uh, this level's always been a bit weird. It's like saxophone town. Pipe and saxophone town. This alien fortress. I've got a feeling these are supposed to be planets. Different planets in the arcade. This is like Venus or something. Uh, I made that. But it is based on some knowledge of Darius games. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what planet it's supposed to be. But it's almost like... Uh, well, this is probably what Venus actually looks like now I think about it. I've seen them, some pictures of Venus, and I'm pretty sure it's a giant saxophone factory. I mean, where else is saxophones going to come from? No human can make a saxophone. Um, I'm going to start talking nonsense. That's some time in my life. Uh, the music on this level doesn't sound the same as the Mega Drive one. It doesn't sound like the same tune. It might be. Uh, but. Yeah, memory plays tricks when you get old. Uh, these um, blobs, the circly things, aren't actually circular. They're kind of oval shaped. I don't know if that's something to do with the resolution. I wonder if the, wonder if the duo is handling the resolution properly in this game. Uh, that's interesting. Yes, very interesting. I wonder if the duo is actually hitting the correct pixel ratio for this game, or whether those sprites are just drawn by someone who was looking slightly sideways at their monitor. Um, if you want technical analysis, uh, go to um, uh, Digital Foundry. And everybody on Digital Foundry sounds like that. Actually, the the uh, impression I did there of technical me does actually sound like Richard Ledbetter, Ledbetter from Digital Foundry. That's what he actually sounds like. Um, probably a nice chat, I don't know. But, 30 quid buys you this CD. What do you get in the box? Well, you get a CD and you get a, an instruction manual, which is very flimsy. There's not a lot of pages in it. It has some images in it that aren't that exciting. And uh, if you're lucky, you get a CD that isn't scratched to fuck, because this game is pretty damn old. Um, the Hue card version of this game, which I think also runs on the super graphics and has some enhancements. It's about the same price, or has been recently. There's also uh, a card with Darius Alpha on it, which is ridiculously expensive, so avoid that one. Right, we're firing uh, bullets into a space in the enemy's face, and uh, we're getting out of here. So what I might do is, I might do a side-by-side -side at some point of this versus the Mega Drive one, so we can see what the differences are. But I'm betting someone's already done that on the interwebs, so maybe I'll just leave that to them. All right then, um, let's see with Darius. It's, it's Darius. It's kind of cool, but it's you know the power ups are annoying. You can't get powered up particularly quickly, and um, that's one thing they did fix in the more recent games. All right then, ta-ra.